Hi everyone, it's Nate Debutant here. Um, I'm just going to do a little vid to go with my blog that I've just written about stripes. Um, I'm loving stripes at the moment. I love polka dots more, I have to say, but the stripes are just coming in a close second. Um, in a part of my blog, I do mention how um, you can use old vintage clothes or retro clothes to um, recreate something that Urban Outfitters are currently selling for 30 plus quid and you can just knock it up by nipping into a man in your life, maybe your dad, maybe your husband, maybe your brother's wardrobe and finding one of his stripy t-shirts and just um, recreating it into a top for you. Now, do get permission from your family member before you steal it. But another idea is just to um, go to a charity shop and buy a £2, £3 t-shirt, men's t-shirt, and just cut it off, turn it into a crop top. I'm just going to show you what I mean. So I went into my husband's wardrobe. He won't mind. I'm not going to cut it with scissors. Well, not this one anyway. So I thought this print was pretty 90s. Um, he's probably had this uh, for 15 years because my husband is also a hoarder. Where did he get it from? He got it from Top Man. So. Here's your t-shirt. Now, a men's t-shirt on a girl isn't always that flat ring. I mean, it's okay, I'm sure. You know, yeah, it's not really, I don't really want a t-shirt over my belly unless it's massive. The Urban Outfitters t-shirt um, that I've seen for like 30 quid plus, um, they're this sort of stripe, kind of this sort of size, I would say, but they are cropped. You can just restyle a men's t-shirt or one of your own t-shirts which I'm going to show you in a bit um, into something new. Uh, so you got your t-shirt, not that flattering. So you could either obviously you could crop it off, make yourself a lovely, I'm going to look in the mirror just for a sec, a lovely little uh, crop top there. Might be a little bit wide there but that's that's all right because um, People are wearing them quite boxy and people are making them quite boxy. A lot of designers I know do make quite a boxy t-shirt and top at the moment. So I quite like that sort of thing. But also, the oldest trick in the book would be this one. Where, well, you can tie it in a knot. I know people that tie hairbands around it and they either do it out or tuck it in like this. Just want to see how flattering that is. It's all right, it'll do. But yeah, so you can do it like that. <laughs> or, around the back, or at the side. So there we are. You can just have it at whatever height you want. Um, so if you don't really like, I don't really like showing off my belly, so there's no way really I'm gonna go out with these leggings on like this and this crop top. Um, but I would wear it with some tapered jeans, or sorry, my tapered trousers, which I'll show you in a minute. And, you know, just adds a bit of shape. You want to accentuate your waist, don't you? So, I haven't been that great at that lately because I've been wearing massive oversized clothes, which I love and I find it really comfortable, but then I was feeling I was just being a bit too boy. There was no shape to me, which is fine because in the winter I don't care about that if I just want to be warm. But, um, you know. Bit of shape, bit of shape is what we want. So there we are. So I've done that. As I said, you can get the side as well. Tidal knot in it, tidal knot. So yeah, so this silly boys t shirt has actually become quite a cute little little uh, t shirt. I think I will try my little top on with some of my stroke trousers just to show you um, how I would actually wear it. I'm hoping that it's not too dark so you can see everything not really filmed at this angle before um, right so here I am with the top on looking unflattering with my baggy trousers and my new waist and then dun 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 get my little crop top so I've done that so it's more like a t-shirt with a nipped in waist and these trousers my new favourite trousers and they are by Duvet Days. A lovely lady who um, makes all of the garments from Duvet Days out of vintage duvets, uh, vintage sheets, stripes, Aztecs, 
kids prints you can just just anything any duvet you've ever had she could knock you up a pair of trousers out of it if you've got one in your wardrobe in your in your closet somewhere get it out and send it to um, Emma at duvet days and she will knock you up a marvelous pair of trousers like these oh yeah and she might make you a matching top if you're lucky boy or girl doesn't matter I think with this I didn't like it that much like that I think it would have to be quite a high high little crop with these trousers oh I'm going to tuck it in my bra that's what I'm going to do oh yeah so yeah mm -mm -mm. so that's how you take use a vintage 90s noughties whatever um striped t-shirt or any t-shirt and turn it into something new that no one else will hopefully have okay so next i'm going to do a little 90 top that i used to have and do something different with it so i'll be back this is a skinny rope top as they used to call them in the 90s they might still call them that i don't know um that i got when i was 16 years old from i think pilot in bristol so basically this um is it's that shape it might be skinny ribbed but no one's looking skinny ribbed in this little number so what would i do with it a bit too baggy to just cut off and because it's like a skinny rib it wouldn't hang as nicely as like a cotton jersey t-shirt would so for this one i think it definitely is the older uh, the old knot up something like that mm -mm -mm. but yeah i'm a hoarder so i imagine not many of you still have your skinny ribs from the 90s Many of you probably weren't even born in the 90s, let alone have your skinny ribs. It's just about <laughs> using what you have or what you find and not having to spend £30 for Urban Outfitters. Though I do buy things from Urban Outfitters, so I don't think I hate them. But, you know, if there's something you can recreate, there's no need to go and buy it new. And a lot of the time with Urban Outfitters, they've, they've already, they've had someone recreate it for you. So it's something you could do yourself. I think I'll like this one tied at the front. Yeah, maybe like that. Right, so what else we've got? I've got a couple of other t-shirts of Phil's that I found, so I'll quickly show you them. So it's another one of Phil's t-shirts. It's a stripy green little number. Also from Top Man. It's a bit of a trend going on here, isn't it? To be honest. My husband barely wears anything that isn't, doesn't have a skate label on these days um, because he does actually skate. So, ow! So he's not one of these uh, wannabe skaters wearing Supreme and never gotten a skateboard in their lives. But, mm mm mm. Another t shirt, see? And a little nautical number. This is. I know where this is from because I bought it from years ago from Primark. So there we are. He's also got a blue one. You know. No, yeah, no. So anyway, you get the idea. You can make a new t-shirt out of an old t-shirt. Um, if you're brave enough or you're the person who owns the t-shirt doesn't care, just cut the bugger off. But, you know, for a more nipped in look, this, this the old knotty, knotty number that people have been doing since the 50s and possibly before, I don't know. Um, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cute. There we go. But I wanted to show you, I just looked back at the film and I really want to show you my trousers by Duvet Days because they are just aces. That's the end of my little stripey vlog post for No Debutante blog. Check out my blog, it's no hyphen debutante.blogspot.co.uk. And if you want to follow me or subscribe and watch my very DIY videos, then do join me. Click on the like button. Okay, enjoy the sunshine, kids. See you soon. Woo!